Green goes down, Green goes up, whole shot start, Gaines off and running, 39's gonna keep in company, Thomas Olsen looking around the outside. Four wide, back in the field, three wide onto the back straightaway up front and down the back shoot goes the 102 sled, it's gonna be a race leader getting down into the corner, big deep run down low. 102, I'm sorry, batter Stevenson back in the number three spot. Up front, your race leader is Thomas Olson. Gady sets it was into the number two spot. Back behind Blade Stevenson, big power slide for the 102 sled. Here comes Gady down to the inside, running a race lead out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. He'll run her deep into turn number three on the 28 sled. Slips it up through, works about a car with her, a sled with up off the bottom, back behind Blade Stevenson. Able to rifle on through on the 102 sled, picks off the number two spot. Olsen shuffle back into third on the field. Jay Middlestep watching on from fourth. And now moves down to the inside. He'll put another one by the wayside. And another lap sled between himself and the 102 of Blaine Stevenson with now 16 laps remaining. So 0 4, Luke Olsen goes by the wayside. Oddly enough, Gunnar Stern, 220 sled, now sits to the outside of your race leader. Stern, a perennial contender in this category, will find himself slipping back through as we got contact. Blaine Stevenson, rooted down off the racetrack. He'll go to the infield and unfortunately now gives up a tremendous amount of distance to your race leader, Matt Gady, up front. Now one crucial miscalculation of navigation for the 102 sled is going to be detrimental without a red flag coming out on this one. So the 102, Blaine Stevenson actually was black flagged, did not pull off the racing surface. He's still out here racing, but is not being scored at this time. So even though he's run down Matt Gady on the 28th sled, that will not be a pass for position for Stevenson. Race director calling for the black flag from back in the Woody's Traction Control Paddock area. He moves to the outside and powers around Gady, but now again, Gady is still your race leader on the 28th sled. Regardless of what timing and scoring is going to tell you, we're not being able to pull him out of that until the end of the race, and which is going to come soon enough. There'll be a handful of laps remaining this next time by. Well, we're coming in now that the, uh, unfortunately, the call from back in the Woody's tracks, Joel Paddock area, actually the 102 is now leading the race. So not sure what the miscommunication was, but apparently Blaine Stevenson is scored back in the top spot. So the 102 sled will be rolling around here. Coming out turn number four is going to be the white flag for the 102 sled. So Blaine Stevenson with that pass earlier on was in fact a pass for lead as a red flag comes out right or off at turn number four. And that's the 39 sled of Thomas Olson who was running in the number three spots. It's the official with him down on the uh, inside. And just like that, we're back underway. Oh, shot for Gady. Slip of the track for Stevenson. Can't get that thing fired off. Falls back into the number four spot. Matt Gady pushes hard down into the corner. He has got to go, go, go. As Zach DeWald slides into the number two spot. Back behind and running again for Blaine Stevenson. Moves up into P3 and drop back to fifth. He's able to get back to third. Here comes the white flag. One more trip around for Matt Gady up front. Couldn't get that bad boy hooked up on the inside for Blaine Stevenson. Still try to finish out in a podium position. Back behind a little power slide down into the corner of that battle for fourth. A little bit intense at that end of the racetrack, but up front, Matt Gady will get back out onto the point, bring it out of turn number four. The checkered flag will fly, and a Maynard Minnesota runner is going to be the winner of the 60th running of the World Championship Snowville Derby.